Well, there's been a lifeboat at Skegness for almost 200 years and soon a brand new vessel will make its way to the Lincolnshire coast. It's faster, more agile and can travel further to rescues than the one it is replacing. In the first of two reports, Philip Norton looks at how a £1.5 million donation from a lifeboat family brought the new boat to the resort. She's been a saviour on the seas around Skegness for more than 25 years. She's like an old friend. It's like it's got a personality all of its own. The smells, the sounds, the noise of the engine. I mean, it's an amazing bit of kit. It's, it's like a... And I suppose I could liken it to like a classic car or a Spitfire. It makes a very distinctive noise and the smell of the fuel. It's just... it's an amazing experience. The Lincolnshire poacher has been a reassuring presence for seafarers and a welcome sight for many in their moment of need. Since this lifeboat was stationed here in 1990, it's been launched 352 times. It's carried out 195 rescues, and in those rescues, they've saved 38 lives, along with countless vessels, people and pets who found themselves in difficulty on the Lincolnshire coast. But her days here are numbered. A brand new lifeboat will arrive here on Saturday, thanks to a Skegness family. For almost 160 years, descendants of the Grunnell family served continuously with the lifeboat here. From days of oars and brute strength, that continuous service ended in 1984, when Joel Grunnell retired after 45 years with the crew. But when Joel died in 2011, he left money for the lifeboat, and along with a donation from his cousin April, the family has gifted one and a half million pounds. It was a surprise, really. We were all gathered upstairs in the, in the crew room and April was in there and nobody really knew what was going on. And, and it was when April announced to us that, you know, there's a legacy being left by Joel um, to, to secure the future of the funding for the station here in Skegness and to introduce this new generation of lifeboat. As a result, almost 300 miles away in Dorset, the future of life-saving on the Lincolnshire coast has been taking shape. This is the RNLI's purpose-built lifeboat manufacturing centre in Poole, where every year six brand new Shannon-class lifeboats are born, the latest being the new Skegness lifeboat, which was constructed right here. They are very fast, very manoeuvrable uh, for the crew, both getting alongside a casualty or getting in close to uh, any precarious ledges. Having a small boat myself, it's always welcome knowing that there are very, very brave volunteers in the background willing to get in one of these and come and save you. It takes around a year to build each lifeboat. Made from fibreglass, there's not one bolt or rivet holding any of it together. The gentlemen now are just over laminating the joint to make it integrally strong. So that will go through an eight week process in here and then go out eventually for commissioning process. And here she is, emerging from the freezing fog the brand new Skegness lifeboat. Named the Joel and April Grunnell, the family connection will help save lives for many years to come. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, in Paul. Great story, and of course we uh, salute the work of the RNLI. You can see the second part of uh, Philip's uh, report uh, from Skegness uh, tomorrow night as he uh, joins the lifeboat crew as they undergo training on their new boat. Tomorrow night, same time, round about half past six. The crew of the new Skegness lifeboat say it's like swapping a Ford Escort for a Ferrari. The Shannon-class lifeboat will arrive at a new home in the town tomorrow. But before they began the journey to Lincolnshire, Philip Norton joined the crew on the south coast as they trained on their new vessel for this report. It's nine o'clock in the morning at the RNLI headquarters in Poole. All lines in board, Gab. Amid thick fog, the Skegness lifeboat crew are heading out on their brand new boat. We're just going to come out and the uh, outside of the harbour area and uh, we're just going to do some routine exercises, some drills. While visibility is down to just a few metres, Will has a new piece of kit that will help in conditions like this. The radar itself is, uh, the picture's amazing. We've got six screens on board, so any one of us can actually link into the radar page. And so we can, so rather than having one set of eyes on, you know, we can have as many as, as what's needed on the radar itself. This Shannon-class lifeboat will replace the Mersey-class lifeboat, which has been based in Skegness since 1990. This is the uh, survivor's cabin. Uh, 
it takes six people seated. You'll see there's six seats. It's much more comfortable and much more secure than the Mersey was. The lifeboat has been paid for thanks to a one and a half million pound donation from former crewman, the late Joel Grunnell, and his cousin, current collection box secretary, April. This new lifeboat is much faster. It can achieve 25 knots out on the sea as opposed to the previous 15 knots. It's also got an increased range. It can travel an extra 70 miles on rescues. And it's also much quicker and easier to launch from the station. We're lucky to have her. She's uh, driven by two Hamilton jets, whereas the Mersey had two propellers, and um, she reacts totally different, as you'd expect, totally different propulsion system. But as we head further out, there's a problem. Here we've got an alarm. There's a okay, fire on board. Right. It's a training scenario, but time to put well-rehearsed drills to the test. Okay, we've got one guy missing. It's getting on here, using the equipment, training on here as much as we can. The more we use it, obviously, the more we can pick it up. With faster jet propulsion engines, even the crew seats have suspension to cushion them from the impacts of the waves. It's a far cry from the hours of rowing many Grunnels and other volunteer lifeboatmen endured in years gone by. This boat is just another world, really. The analogy a lot of people use, it's going from a Ford Escort to a Ferrari. Joel was always uh, proud that he had a photograph when he was three years old, stood with a collecting box uh, on, the, on the main street in Skag, um, yeah. collecting money for the lifeboats, and he's been doing it, and even now he's passed, he's passed on. His legacy lives with us. Today, the Joel and April Grunnell has been continuing her journey up the east coast with her crew. She will arrive at a new home in Skegness at around one o'clock tomorrow. Philip Norton, BBC Look North, in Paul. If you're in the uh, resort, look out for the uh, boat tomorrow lunchtime in Skegness. And of course, we wish all the very best to the uh, Skegness RNLI uh, crew with their new boat.